I got a small tomato plant here and um, need to prepare it for its uh, future. We want to do a hands-off kind of growing. And so my suggestion is to do something like this, a home-built tomato cage. Uh, it's easy to make, it's a very little tool, and uh, it's very low maintenance. All right, so I'm going to show you um, what we're going to do to make a tomato cage. It's a homemade tomato cage, but it uh, works very well. And I'm not going to do a full-fledged one, uh, a full one, because I already have a lot of them in the yard. I just want to do it so you guys can see. When you buy from the store or from Amazon, you get something like this, like a big roll. And so you get a big roll. And this has been in the yard, so excuse the plants and the stuff on it. Uh, it's in the yard. But they give you a roll, and you unroll it, right? And it'll come out flat. And you just, uh, yeah, here. So you're gonna unroll it. And I just got something here to uh, cut with. And uh, these are not wires. These are grapevines that managed to bind these together. So roll fairly easy. It's the grapevines that's causing it. So, so it's for a demo purpose. I'll show you guys. It's a small one. Okay, small cage. So you figure out where, how big is you want your tomato cage. And once you find the mark, just cut. So you do have a choice to cut. In the middle here or on the side on which side it doesn't matter uh, for my particular purpose here since I have this one already long here so I'm gonna cut this one short I'll show you guys in a bit I'll zoom in and I might just cut through close to this edge Cut them right through. Of course, the tomato cage is not going to be this small. It's just for demo purpose for you guys, okay? But you can see that one end is... You see that? So one end is has nothing there, and the other side has these long extending one. What you're going to do is you combine the two ends together, like here, and then you just twist this around one time like that and it will hold see there and you do that for all the for all the uh, sides okay. you see and there you go got it. you know I'm just doing a few for demo purpose only can you see that once I combine that got a nice barrel of course it's gonna be bigger for your for your tomato cage and uh, you know you just stick it and it's about I think this is four feet so um, yeah so 
how you do it in a tomato cage. And then what you can do is uh, take some steaks, because uh, when you put it in the tomato plants, it doesn't stand, it's very wobbly, right? So the in the store, they have you know the steaks down here. Well, we can, um, we can improvise using this. You have these green steaks here, and uh, you just stick them into the cage onto the ground. You stick about three of them two, three, four, five, ten, whatever you feel that uh, ten is overkill, but you know, a good three will keep it steady to um, you know to keep the tomato plant, and then once you have you know, your tomato plants, your tomatoes, right? You can cut in the middle here. I'll show you guys. So you here, you cut it in the middle. And then you fold it back. And there you go. You have an opening to pick your tomatoes. So yeah, real useful. Um, it feels like this is a very low maintenance tomato plant, uh, tomato plant cage. So yeah, you can use it for other applications as well, but I find it, uh, using for tomato plants is great using these. So have fun guys. Bye. So this is the tomato cage with the, uh, tomato plants grown into it. So if you can see. Um, the tomato can uh, grow however it wants to and so yeah very little maintenance